Hello everyone! This Sunday is our Arts and Crafts Sunday. So for this Sunday, we will make a DIY calendar. So are you guys ready? Let's start! The materials needed for this craft are your construction paper or colored papers. Any color will do. Your band papers or white papers. Your marker, ball pen, pencil, scissor, glue, your colored pens or you can also use your crayons. Let's begin with the first step. First, you get two pieces of paper. You can use the white bond paper or the construction paper. But for me, I prefer white paper. Let's begin with the first step. Now, we will glue the two papers together. Let's glue them together. There you go. Now, we will fold this paper. We will divide it into two. The next one, you have to fold one fourth of this half. So, fold it inside. Let's fold it. So that it will look like this. Okay. There you go. So as you can see, it will be like this. Then, let's fold the other one. Then, open it slowly. And we will glue this folded part together. It will look like this. Okay? So, let's glue them together. Okay, we are now done with our calendar stand. So you have to use two pieces of paper so that your calendar stand will be firm, okay? So if you will just leave it like that, it can stand on its own. See? There you go. Next, we will now be making the frame. So get another piece of paper you can use the white ones again or the colored ones but for me i will prefer to use color yellow then divide it into three three equal parts so let's divide it into three there you go fold it into three and get the calendar stand be sure that your frame should be taller than your calendar stand so you fold it a little bit so this one this excess will be where you will draw your frame head there so let's cut Yeah. Then let's cut it into three. This will be your frame. Now you think of any design that you want to make as your frame head. But if you cannot think of any design, you can also follow the design that I will be making. I will make a unicorn.
remember that you will only draw in this part so you have to label this part only because this part will be your frame okay so you will only draw here if you are unsure of your drawing yet you can use a pencil and then you can use a marker or a ball pen to outline afterwards I draw using pencil and then I will be using a marker for outline. Okay? Now, we will draw the frame. So, let's now draw the frame. Use a pencil. And then, use a marker for outline. See, our first design is now finished. This is a unicorn, so you can use any color that you want. If you want to make, uh, you want to color this with any color, it's okay. It's up to you to choose the color that you want. I want it color pink. I want color red. Color red, color red. So then I'll use color green. Okay, there you go. Now, you will cut the frame head. But you can also ask your parents to help you if you cannot do it, okay? So, let's cut. Next one, we will cut the frame. So you will cut this inside part. That's why it is important for you to put an outline so that you know where to cut. Okay? Let's cut. You have to do it slowly but surely. We are now done with our first design. This is the first frame. This one is a unicorn. Then, now get the stand and grab to paste this one here. But be careful that when you put a glue, you will only put a glue at the edges, this edge. This part only. So, put a glue at the edges. Be careful. Put 
glue on the edges. Do not put a glue here. This part only. Below. Then here. You will now paste it here. Be sure that you will only put the glue here because later on you will need to put this one. You will need to put that one. We will now make our second design. The next frame you can think of any design or again you can follow this design we will be doing the same step a while ago so that it's just that we will change the design so for me I'll put clouds and I'll put the outline I wrote 2021. Now we will cut the frame and then the outline of the frame head. So this is the output. Now we will put again a glue here on the side, on the side, and at the lower part. There you go. Do not put a glue on this part, okay? Just put a glue below. Then let's get our calendar span and we'll paste it. Let's now make our third design. You can think of other designs or you can follow this design. Then let us cut the frame head in the frame. So this is the outcome. We will now put a glue at the edge. Edges. Here, let's get the frame span. There you go. We are almost done with our DIY calendar. The next step is we will now make the card holder. So you can get the excess paper that you cut a while ago or you can make or you can cut another paper with the same length as your calendar stamp. So this will serve as your card holder. Now, you have to put a glue at the edge again. You will only put here this part, this part, and this part. Okay? We 
are now done with our card holder. Now, let's make the cards. You have to cut a paper. Cut paper. Then, you need to try if this paper is enough for your frame. Okay, is this enough for the frame? I think we have to cut it smaller. So, let's cut. Then, this paper will now serve as our card. Let's cut 50 papers with the same size as this one because there are 12 months in a year, 7 days in a week, and 31 days in a month. So let's cut 50 pieces of this size. This will vary, the size of this paper will vary according to the size of your frame, okay? After cutting, you write down in the paper the month of the year so there are 12 months in a year right January February March April May June July August September October November and December. Then write the days of the week. There are seven days in a week. Write Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Then write down 1 to 31. 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 31 now, let us put the date today. Okay, today is June 6th, Sunday. And you have to change this one every day. Okay, change the date every day. I hope that when you are changing the date every day, this will remind you to thank God for your life. Okay. We are now done with our DIY calendar. We will now put the excess cards here. At the back. This one will serve as your card holder. There you go. June 6, Sunday. You can make other designs or you can follow this design.
thank you kids for participating. Don't forget to send us a picture of your craft in our group chat and I will give a reward to my top 3 picks. Thank you, enjoy!